I'm currently a third year student at Dublin University. I'm on a five year study plan, so I'll finish in two years. Next year, I'll begin my internship at a clinic for substance addicts. I really look forward to that hands on experience. After my bachelor's, I plan to go on to my master's, perhaps even my PhD. I'm a psychology major with a minor in Spanish language. As I've always been fascinated by how the mind works, I felt that psychology was the ideal field of study for me. Furthermore, I believe I have wonderful interpersonal skills and can easily connect and empathize with others, making me the perfect fit. I've always loved art because it helps me relax and, well, I'm quite good at it. After all the strenuous hours of book work and other classes, it was always a relief for me to come to my canvas. I feel that art is an incredible outlet for me. To an extent, yes, but I also think it can be too theoretical at times. I think they need to teach us how to use the information we learn rather than just have us memorize for the exam. All in all, I can't complain too much, though. Absolutely. I cannot wait to put it into effect what I've been studying for years now. I'm eager to help people with psychological struggles that they face. I believe I can make a difference in the world. Okay, I just want to say something about this topic, education. Now, in part one of the test, there, of course, there are three topics. The first one is always about your home or it's about what you do. In this case, whether you uh, study or not, uh, talking about your studies. But don't confuse that with education as another topic. And in the recording we're going to listen to, they sometimes confuse the two. Uh, sometimes they put in questions from frame one, which is about what you do. And sometimes they put in questions from a different frame, maybe the second or third, which is about the topic of education. The reason why this is important is in the first frame where the examiner asks you about what you do, do you work or are you a student? And you say, I'm a student. And you talk about that. Well, for one, your answers don't have to be that long. The reason for that is that since the examiners know that everyone else knows what the question is going to be, and everyone prepares an answer, they don't give that much weight to your answers in that first frame. So for those ones, for those questions in the beginning, you can really give short answers, that's fine. But if it's an additional frame, then you should extend your answers. All right, let's have a listen to this. Okay, so that's an example of that first frame question where a very short answer is fine. Okay, so this is also a first frame question. Uh, just a few things. <clears throat> if you're going to be talking about your studies, internship is a word that you might want to use if you are ever uh, in the situation where you go on an internship. She uses the phrase hands-on experience. That's good. And notice she doesn't say bachelor's degree. She just says bachelor's. And she does the same with master's. So very often when people talk, they don't say master's degree, they just say master's. I'm a 
frame one, that's fine. Okay, so grammatically, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with anything she says. Only problem, of course, is she's reading off a piece of paper, so it doesn't sound very natural. And <clears throat> a pet peeve of mine is this furthermore that she uses so much. Now, this question here, what was your favorite subject as a child? This is not a question that comes from frame one. So the last three questions, I think, if I remember correctly, the last three questions are from a different frame. So here your answers should be longer. You should give reasons and examples for your answers. Uh, okay, so here, quite, quite is a word that I think candidates don't use often enough. Something I don't understand, though, she's talking about what happened in the past. It was always a relief for me to come to my canvas. <clears throat> don't confuse come and go. So it was always a relief for me to go to my canvas, not to come to my canvas, unless you have the canvas with you when you are doing the test, which would be pretty weird. All right, let's move on. Oh, this is kind of a difficult question. These difficult questions that are not very personal in part one, like here, they're asking you about your country. They're not asking you specifically about yourself. These are usually the last of the four questions that you get on each topic. Sometimes they ask you, not specifically about yourself, but maybe about your city, or like in this case, your country. All right, so, it's a yes, no question, but even though it's a yes, no question, um, sometimes the answer is not very black and white. So to an extent, yeah, so it's kind of mixed. So this is a good phrase to use if you're not really sure whether you are on one side or the other side of an answer. And this phrase here, <clears throat> rather just have us memorize for the exam. So if people are forcing you to do something, then they are having you do something. So instead of saying, then just make us memorize for the exam, here she used the word have. And then the last question, are you looking forward to working? kind of short to be honest I mean for a six uh, you should just be willing to speak at length meaning that you don't always have to give extended answers but to get a seven you need to be able to speak at length pretty much all the time and I wouldn't say that's what we saw here anyway um, Okay, so she kind of just messed up what she was trying to read here. She said, I cannot wait to put, and then she put the word it here. <clears throat> so instead she should have said, I cannot wait to put into effect what I've been studying. The object here is what I've been studying, not it. And something else, what did I want to say? Oh, uh, psychological struggles, since you're talking about specific psychological struggles, specific to these people. So 
maybe say with the psychological struggles that they face all right so education kind of mixed in with the first frame what do you do but anyway i hope you found the video useful